Okay, um, Kirsten, what are we doing with this? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we put a couple inches of water in the bottom. We're gonna add some lavender scented liquid dish salt. Doesn't have to be lavender scented. Just a squirt in there. What that will do is break the surface tension because you know how those caterpillars are really furry? Yes, they are. That fur makes them float. So they can survive around the surface of the water for okay. a long time and then if they get near the edge of the container they'll crawl right out. So you need a little So you need the soap to break that surface tension on the water so they sink mm -hmm. and drown. Um Is yep. Okay so we're here to check Patty's hiding band today and what the hiding band is is a flap of burlap tied around um, the circumference of the um, tree um, and what this what does is it attracts the gypsy moth caterpillars to hide underneath it where they get a little protection from predators and get a little bit out of the sun and the elements um, and then the idea is that they'll congregate behind this hiding band and then we can easily collect them and dispose of them um, so that over time after a few days of doing this we will reduce the caterpillar numbers and hopefully there won't be so much frass and leaf fragments and caterpillars raining down on Patty and Jeff's patio. So, so that's the idea. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold up the flaps of burlap and Cameron's gonna come with the paintbrush and flick the caterpillars into the soapy water where they will drown. It's fast and painless. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's painless. So we're gonna leave the ants and just collect caterpillars. Yeah, so the paintbrush is so they don't squish on the burlap. <laughs> 